So in this screencast, we're going to look how to properly use sub-circuits on Logisim. So here I've got a Logisim project open. So the project's called LX1620. So I'll look on the desktop. So you can see I've saved that in a .circ file. So you only actually need one Logisim project file. You don't need to create a new project every time you build a new circuit because you can put multiple circuits or sub-circuits inside of a project. So here I've got one LX1620 project and inside here I've got multiple circuits. So when you create a project for the first time you've got you'll have a circuit called main but then when you when you select the circuits on the side you can just go down and rename them. So the first circuit I built was a NAND implementation using CMOS transistors. So if you double click on the circuit you can see the magnifying glasses on here. And then I've built the NAND uh, implementation here. I give it input pins A and B and an output pin Y. So it's important that you give those labels when you click on these. Make sure you label it down here. Because then what we can do then, once, once you've built your, say, NAND, um, if you go on project, add circuit, you can put a new circuit file in. So I did one called NOT, and you can see with all these I'll put an underscore X suffix at the end because if you just try to call it NOT, it will tell you it's a reserved keyword because there's already you know, components in here called NOT, so you can't use NOT, so I just called it NOT underscore X just to make it different. So in that circuit then, I can actually reuse my NAND sub-circuit to build a NOT gate from NAND gates. So here I've built, you know, you can just drag in the NAND and then... I'll just connect it up, connect both inputs together. Again, give an input pin A, output pin Y. So that now is my NOT gate built from my NAND sub circuit. And then if you right click, you can do view NAND so you can see inside of that. So you can drill in down this menu. Did the same for an AND, so created a new project again. Sorry, project, new circuit. Called it AND underscore X just so it's not called AND. That's a reserve keyword. And then I've built the AND implementation using the NAND. Again done the same for all. So now I've got an NOT AND and OR gates all implemented out of my NAND sub-circuit. And then as an example, when I've built an XOR, because an XOR gate is built from NOT gates, AND gates and OR gates, so I've actually used my implementations of the NOT AND and OR to build an XOR. So again you could just drag them in and then wire them up as you normally do. So rather than using NAND gates, I'll just use these sub-circuits just to demonstrate how it can be done. So now I've got my XOR gate. It's implemented out of the AND gates. And again, you can drill down, so right click and then view AND X, and you kind of drill down to this transistor level. So at that point, when I've got NOT, AND, OR, and XOR, I can just you know, combine those together to build a full adder. So again, project added a new sub circuit, called it full adder underscore X just to make it different. And then put those blocks in, connected it together. So then at the very top level, we can see we've got a functioning um, full adder. So A, sorry, zero and zero gives us zero. So zero and one, we get one for the sum zero for the carry and then one one no sum one carry and then one 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 you get sum one carry one so this is a functioning full adder so it's built out of these sub circuits and you can keep drilling down through these sub circuits to get to this transistor level however i just want to demonstrate that you can do this once you start going say two or three levels up these sub-circuits and can start to get uh, problems in your simulation because now, you know, there could, I don't know, I'm off the top of my head, but there could be hundreds of transistors just in this full adder circuit. So when you run the simulation, you know, Logisim can find it difficult and it gets harder and harder as you go up this, up this kind of hierarchy. So I suggest when you're using a full adder, you don't build your own version like this, you use a built-in adder. So this, this built-in adder just behaves exactly the same way as our implementation does. We've got our A and B inputs, carry in, carry out, and our sum. So it's much better to use the built-in versions, but it is 
necessary sometimes to create sub-circuits just to make your implementations a bit easier.